Thanks for joining me on my market report. My name is Mike, and my market report is on mortgage rates. We get into exp providing explanations on what's driving mortgage rates, and sometimes it comes from the economic calendar, sometimes it comes from headline news or geopolitical. Sometimes uh, good news is now bad news, and start market sentiment changes, and if you're standing there watching, you don't understand what's going on here. So we're trying. We try to give those explanations for you guys, so that way you have a better idea of what to, what's going on with the markets, how to grasp it, and hopefully uh, move forward as to uh, as you've been following the markets. A little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work at the National Lender. We do loans in all 50 states. So if you guys are looking to refinance or purchase, we'd love to be able to help you out with those. But more than that, we'd like to be able to be a resource. We're here to answer any questions you might have. So please uh, feel free to reach out. We'd love to be able to talk to you guys. Uh, in the meantime, why don't we jump right into the uh, report here. We'll start off with the economic calendar. Something uh, doesn't wait, move the markets or anything, but I just kind of like to look at it. Anyways, the NBA every Wednesday comes out with their uh, mortgage loan activity report. And as we can see here, there's a slight increase to the uh, purchase side of things. However, of course, you know with the rate spikes, uh, the refinance side went down. Now, the one that does move the markets this week uh, does are, uh, have uh, a mark. It can be a market mover, but uh, we're so focused on inflation that this probably won't have as much impact. Um, so, this is the retail sales for the month of February. So, January it was actually revised from 3.8 percent uh, to 4.9 percent. So, that's a pretty big change there. And then uh, for uh, February, it went from forecast of 0.4 percent, and it came slightly under at 0.3 percent. Now we also got the NHB Housing Market Index. This is a confidence uh, in, a gauge is uh, confidence with home builders, and it went from 82 uh, back in October. I'm sorry, not October, uh, February. Excuse me. Uh, down revised lower to 81. So forecast would come for 81, and it came in um, a bit lower to 79. 79 on that chart. So we're seeing a. Uh, Confidence uh, continued to decline with the uh, home builders, and a lot of it has to do with the mortgage rates spiking a bit and home affordability. Home affordability now, of course, you know, being a factor here. Uh, last but not least, uh, the, the Fed will be wrapping up their two-day meeting with the FOMC. They'll be giving their announcement here uh, Pacific Standard Time at 11.15, so that will be coming up here probably about another half hour roughly. They are expected to go ahead and... Um, Announce their rate, the quarter rate hike. Uh, so uh, when you, when the Fed does this, they do this to short-term rates, and this is to help uh, stave off inflation, fight inflation. So uh, rather than coming with a bigger uh, chunk and surprising the markets or uh, worrying the markets, they came in with a standard quarter percent hike. Uh, we will be getting. Uh, what will be interesting is we've got the policy changes and see what the Fed says. We got a lot of different nuances since the last one. We got the Ukraine Russia war. Uh, so we've had some spikes there. Uh, we got the lockdowns in Russia could be a concern because that's a supply disruption. Uh, so we'll see how the Fed responds to those new uh, challenges that came in. And I also take a look at the dot plot uh, as to how many rate hikes are expected this year. So some are projecting anywhere between five to seven this year. And of course, those are in quarter increments. Uh, so we're expecting anywhere approximately uh, one to, I mean, one a little over one percent. So it could be anywhere between one and a quarter percent, all the way up to one point seven five percent by end of this year. All right. So um, let's see how the uh, mortgage rates are doing today. Uh, sorry about that. Here's a look at the mortgage backed securities, and we're down twenty five basis points. What does that mean? Well, uh, we're down about an eighth of a percent in rates. So that means twenty. Uh, it's about a quarter a point. Uh, so right now we're kind of bracing for the Fed and see what the Fed does. This could change in the afternoon as as they review and take a look at the Fed's announcement and go through the words, uh, words and everything, and decipher what you know what's ahead of it and dot plot and everything. So here's the volatility today. Uh, as you see, we've been going up and down, up and down. So there's been a lot of volatility so far, back and forth with the Fed, with the uh, positioning of the mortgage-backed securities. So a lot of times we just get kind of a more defensive mode and kind of start declining. Now stocks are up uh, so far, so a lot part of that is we're comp competing with stocks um, as well, and that money's been going from mortgage-backed securities, which is usually a safe haven, back into stocks. Now on the Russian-Ukraine side of things, so that it seems like there's been some progress with talks, so that's what's kind of also helping boost stocks a, a bit as well uh, of a possible ceasefire. 
Um, and then treasuries, we're well, we up to 2.19. Uh, so we're up to point, yeah, 2.19 now. So we're going to new highs again. Uh, so as years climb. So to wrap it up, we'll take a look at the uh, average conforming loan limit, or loan um, rate. And 30 years now at 4.42. And the 15 years at 3.74. So typically we do these in eighth increments. However, uh, these do have points built into them. So these are just kind of an average rate that's out there in the market right now. So you can take these with a grain of salt. It doesn't mean this is what rate you're going to be quoted. It just means uh, every quote is a little bit different because there's too many variables that go into it. But this is what the average uh, rate for both of those look like. All right, folks. Um, greatly appreciate you guys' time watching us. Uh, if you guys like these videos, please help us out. And smash that like button and share. Uh, but if you also got questions, please uh, feel free to reach out. We're here to help you guys. All right, folks. Have you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. And then stay tuned. we got the Fed coming up here uh, pretty soon. So the markets could be uh, changing. We'll touch on that a little bit in tomorrow's video. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.